Hello everybody, this is a Cyclo style. Its Gestetner model could be dated from around 1922 to 1929. Gestetner is one of the most famous manufacturers of Cyclo styles. In the beginning of the 19th century, if you wanted to have a copy of a document, the fastest way was to use a similar device. So this is uh, the ancestor of the modern copiers we have in the office now. This technology is not uh, so old uh, how you can think. Cyclostyles uh, were used in the offices uh, till uh, 1970 years. The matrix used on this machine is dated 1970. How does it work? The mimeograph relied on a master page like this that had the typing characters stenciled out. You can prepare this master page with the typewriter. Most of all the typewriters had this lever, allowing you to print without using the ribbon. Then with the typewriter you wrote what you want on a particular sheet of paper covered with wax, specific for the cyclo style. The typing characters of the typewriter hit the sheet of paper and create a weak point on the wax, covering the sheet, making the paper permeable at that point. The resulting sheet, called matrix, was yoked to the drum of the printing machine. The rotating mechanism of the drum, synchronized with the dragging of the empty sheets of paper, and pressed the matrix between two rollers. One of these rollers was covered with the appropriate thick and oily ink, and the ink was transferred only to the parts without wax of the paper sheet. Essentially, the cycle style was a rotating ink roller. The Gestetner company was founded in London in 1881 by an Hungarian man, David Gestetner. He worked at the stock market in Vienna, where he had to make copies of the day's activity by repeatedly and writing the result. Presumably, he got tired of this and started to invent devices to make copies. His first invention was a pen to reproduce multiple copies of documents. You can see a similar one in this old catalog, together with some spares for Gestetner. This has to do with our story because the etymology of the word cyclostyle is a pen stylus with a roller cycle. This one in detail. And his first invention was exactly this a pen with a tiny roller with points to perforate lines on a sheet of paper to permit the ink go through the lines you did and create a copy. In 1906, the Gestetner factory was opened in Tottenham Hale near London and thousands of people were employed there up until the 70 years. Gestetner Company merged with other office machine companies over time, including Nashua, Rex Rotary, Animex and Sevin. In the end, all came under the holding company name of NRG, Nashua, Rex Rotary and Gestetner. This Gestetner duplicating machine or mimeograph was made in the 20 years. It is a complicated assemblage of gears, levers and knobs, rollers. There are a lot of adjustment to do. Of course, you needed some training to use it. With this knob, you regulate the pressure of the rollers. You had to know how to clean it and how to do general maintenance. And also, you had to know how many ink you had to use, how deep you have to type to print on the master sheet without doing an all. 
The drum is rotated manually. Each revolution of the drum forced the ink through the holes in the stencil and transferred the ink on the paper that had been fed between rollers and pressed against the drum. The process was repeated for each page. The Gestetner machine was the first office printing machine. It was easily installed and it made exact copies of the same document quickly. This changed the way offices operated, making information easily available to many more users. These machines were used in school, business, church and other organizations for the wide distribution of the big variety of information in the form of worksheets, newsletters and more. It was also portable. It had uh, its, its uh, casing for transportation. So now we can close it. I fold the trace. I think this uh, cyclo style is more difficult to use than modern uh, copiers. But uh, it's uh, much more sexy. Of course, it uh, would be also perfect uh, in a steampunk world. Thanks for watching.